Like the slow erosion of the island itself, the way of life on Smith Island is disappearing. This island in the Chesapeake has been inhabited for more than 400 years, its residents always relying on the water. One of the mainstays here for the past 20 years has been the Smith Island Crab Picking Co-op. It was started in 1996 through a state grant, private donations, and a loan. Many ladies of the island picked the crabs caught by their husbands. Robin Bradshaw's mom started the co-op. In its heyday, there were 15 watermen wives plus extra help picking crabs. Today, there are just three left. Well, I, quite frankly, um, I believe we'll be here as long as the Lord wants us here. And when he says stop, we'll stop. And we're going to keep on going and keep on fighting because that's what Smith Islanders do. We're fighters, we're survivors, um, you know, and we just, you know, we'll do it as long as we possibly can. Combined, Tina Corbin, Dora Corbin, and Robin Bradshaw have more than 100 years of crab picking experience. But I had to pick to pay for my wedding and uh, to help out, and uh, I've been picking ever since. Decent money for a teenager. Robin Bradshaw has used the same knife for 33 years until this year. See the blade, <laughs> how thin it's got. So I had to switch to a new knife. And, and believe it or not, it's, it's hard. Once you get used to the grip of a knife, another knife, it's hard. So I've, it took me a while, but I'm finally used to it. <laughs> Over the decades, that is a lot of crabs, which these days aren't so plentiful. It's not been a very good season for the, war, for the watermen. I mean, I'm used to picking, picking like anywhere from two to three bushels a day, and it's been a struggle for my husband to find me a bushel. The women say never-ending regulations and fees are making the tough environment even tougher, especially on the next generation. Watermen don't get retirement. They don't get health care. They don't, you know, we, ha we struggle with all that. And uh, so I've encouraged my children to get education and move on. And, it, and it's sad. It's a really sad thing to have to tell your children because I have grandchildren over on the mainland. I wish they were here with me. <laughs> Laughter and good conversation abounds in this room, just feet from the water. There's an easy rhythm to all of it. It takes 20 to 30 minutes of picking to fill a one-pound container. The containers are shipped to Crisfield for seafood dealers. Their motto? Caught today, steam today, on your table tomorrow. And the demand is through the roof. We can't pick enough to get, uh, oh, and if we just could, we would be so happy. If we could fill all of our orders, we would be thrilled. If anybody out there wants to come over and pick, you know, we could use a couple more pickers. <laughs> and a few more to keep this island tradition alive. Steve Hammond, WBOC News, Tylerton, Smith Island.